Hello, my name is Dr. Alex Ramirez Serrano. I am a professor in mechanical engineering at the University of Calgary in Canada, where I work on developing fully autonomous unmanned vehicles for complex confined spaces, such as inside collapsed buildings, mines, and beneath tree cover. The 21st century presents unique challenges to disaster response. Our team is tackling these challenges by developing revolutionary aircraft with new flying capabilities to assist in relief operations in complex and urban spaces. Over 1 million people are killed every year by natural or urban disasters. These disasters lead to millions of people being permanently disabled or displaced and the affected communities take between 20 to 30 years to recover with billions of dollars in economic losses. Imagine yourself as a first responder. You've just arrived at a scene of a disaster. Devastation is everywhere and smoke and dust hang the air around you. You need information. You need to get into the disaster scene and move around. What you need is the technology to get inside the complex and chaotic spaces fast. We have developed such technology in the form of a robotic aircraft having unique flying capabilities to perform acrobatic maneuvers inside confined spaces at zero speed. And examples of maneuvers include pitch hover capabilities, a revolutionary maneuver that no other aircraft in the world can perform. A pitch hover allows a rotorcraft to land and take off from slope surfaces. This enables the aircraft to, say, land on a steep mountainside, and even enable the aircraft to autonomously land and take off from a ship in rough seas. The aircraft is designed not only with hovering characteristics in mind, it is also able to transition to high-speed forward flight. The aircraft can fly in various flight modes, from vertical takeoff flight to fixed wing flight mode to rapidly reach the heart of the disaster zone. The wings on the aircraft do not have conventional control surfaces like ailerons and elevators like traditional aircrafts do. This is a revolution in aircraft design. During an emergency scenario when every second counts, what if we could send an enhanced unmanned aerial vehicle into danger rather than risk more lives? Having vital information could mean the difference between life and death. We specialize in deploying robots on manned vehicles in what we call confined spaces where you don't see flying machines and robots being deployed because it's complex to go there. The Navigate is an unmanned aerial vehicle designed to go where other vehicles can't. This is due to its unique flying characteristics that allow it to maneuver at zero speed and pitch hover at various angles. Once the Navigate is given a mission, it's able to think on its own. Internal sensors create a map of the infrastructure, allowing it to maneuver through highly confined spaces, such as collapsed buildings, mines, and beneath tree cover. There's a need to be able to navigate in a confined space where you don't have GPS, where you might have difficulties with communication because you have walls. Search and rescue personnel, they have the suspicion that there might be something down there, but they don't have the data. Get the subject down, northeast corner basement level. Having the ability to maneuver in confined spaces allows search and rescue personnel to, to verify the suspicion. Hey, we're with search and rescue officer, can you hear me? And potentially save lives. The subject is conscious. We're hoping to make a difference, being able to, to get the information faster and, uh, and provide assistance to, uh, to a number of possible uh, missions that we actually perform every day. As this technology continues to mature, more people will be kept from harm's way and emergency personnel will have a revolutionary new tool at their disposal. Our goal is to use this technology to significantly reduce the number of casualties in urban and other disasters and make the disaster go away faster.